how's life been treating everyone's favourite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. If you mean to set out, we'll need to tell Sindri. It's about time he explained what he needs my help with. Wait! Those stairs will not support you. Please don't break my house. Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He is imprisoned in a mine somewhere. It's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will he help us or not? No, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a sodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell goes, eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just need to adjust. <gasps> there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Case you takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Okay. 
Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right. Then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that like? Anything. E everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? We're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here, against Odin, and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. You never asked Mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. Ah! <laughs> The 
If only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in a second. Brother, do you think freezing it would work? What if you used your axe on it? <laughs> Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. You think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfox? I lie. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. 
In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Hey, did that geyser up there just get stronger? When he froze the geyser, the pressure must have changed for the ones around it. Yes. The wheel's moving and the gate's coming down. That's more of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. Dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety. Defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned.
It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir.